Aloha everyone and welcome to Skincare with Hiram. If you don't know who I am, my name's Hiram and I'm passionate about teaching you how to perfect your skincare routine. So make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so that you can see my videos every single week. As I start out this video, I of course want to bring attention to the Black Lives Matter movement that is currently happening right now. It is important that we keep the message of this movement going longer than a week. And while I felt it was appropriate to stay silent last week, what I want to do moving forward is to incorporate the message into my normal videos to help get the message out to as many people as possible. All the ad money this week from this video will be donated to a nonprofit organization specifically for the Black Lives Matter movement. I have linked more information about it below. So if you do want to help raise money, feel free to share this video. Or if you want to help in any way, I've linked multiple nonprofit organizations that you can donate to right now, whether they be community jail bond funds, GoFundMe's, or if you do want to donate but you don't have the money to do so. I've also linked multiple videos in the description box below where all of the ad money will be donated to charity. Thank you guys for helping keep the movement going. This video is one that I have been meaning to do for a little while, and honestly, right now is the perfect time to talk about it. I'm going to be talking about the best sunscreens for black people and people of color. Now you may be looking at me thinking, why am I listening to this pale ass white dude tell me about what sunscreens work for darker skin? And valid point. The defense has no statement. I completely understand that. But in this video, I'm going to be sharing top recommendations from myself and from other black creators of which I will be shouting out later in the video. So stay tuned for that. But let me tell you why this has been a specific struggle on my channel in terms of product recommendations for you. One main reason I love the skincare industry and I did kind of steer away from the makeup industry when I used to be a makeup artist is because of the inclusivity. Skincare is for everyone. It doesn't matter what skin tone you are. Everyone can use skincare. As opposed to when I used to work in luxury retail cosmetics, environments where most of the products were not adequately suited for people of color and it pissed me the fuck off. And this is not to say that things are perfect within the skincare industry, absolutely not. We still have a long way to go when it comes to marketing, black representation and representation of people of color, but there is one specific product that kind of teeters on the edge of non-inclusivity and that is sunscreens. Now, if you watch any of my videos, you know that I regard sunscreen to be the most important part of the skincare routine. It is an absolute necessity, you have to do it. No matter what skin tone you have, it's important that you're getting your daily SPF. 90% of premature aging is due to sun exposure alone, so everyone needs to be wearing sunscreen. But within the skincare industry, sunscreen is not always inclusive, and I will say on my channel, that has been a difficult topic for me. Here's the reason why. There's two different types of sunscreens available in the USA, mineral sunscreens and chemical sunscreens. Mineral sunscreens are the main things we think of when we think of a sunscreen that is not suited for a black person or person of color. It has a white cast, and the reason it does is because it essentially creates a mirror on the surface of your skin to reflect as much sunlight off of it so that you aren't getting that damage. The actual minerals themselves are very white as that serves the purpose of reflecting that sunlight. And then you have chemical sunscreens which have a bunch of different ingredients but when applied to the skin are completely clear. They don't need to have a white cast, they don't leave you looking pale whatsoever. So you may be thinking, well, there you go, chemical sunscreens are the best. But here's the catch. I have been very outspoken about how I'm not a fan of USA chemical sunscreen ingredients. There's a couple different reasons why. The USA is behind as fuck when it comes to sunscreen innovation and technology. So the ingredients that we rely on for chemical UV filters are really not the best out there. And the ones that are commonly used are ones that increase skin sensitivity, can result in breakouts and pimples, and more oftentimes than not are the main reason that so many people comment on my videos saying my sunscreen broke me out. But the second reason I don't like them is because there is some doubt as to whether or not chemical UV filters can bleach coral reefs in the ocean. I live in Hawaii. I personally know multiple researchers who have worked for years studying the toxic effects of certain sunscreen ingredients on coral reefs and how using a USA chemical sunscreen anywhere can lead to runoff and inevitably coral bleaching in the ocean. And so many people strongly disagree with me on this, which is fine. But my approach to skincare is if it's not the best ingredients, then why the fuck am I putting it on my face? I want the best of the best. And there's other better sunscreen ingredients out there that you can use instead, which is why I don't recommend USA chemical sunscreens on my channel. And this is a difficulty because so many videos that I have seen where black people and people of color are recommending sunscreens for darker skin tones, 90 to 100% of them are chemical sunscreens. So that is why in this video, I'm going to be leading you through not only the best mineral sunscreens, but also some new innovative sunscreens that aren't USA chemical sunscreens with no white cast whatsoever. And these aren't just recommendations from me. There are multiple black skincare creators I watch here on YouTube who have made recommendations for the best sunscreens. And I'm going to be shouting them out and let you guys know which specific sunscreens they back as well. So please go support these creators. I have linked them all in the description box below. Each one of them are amazing and I think really valuable for a different perspective within the online skincare community as opposed to this pale ass white boy who doesn't know anything about non-inclusivity within cosmetics. Let's be real. So please, please, please go support them. First, 
This one is one I have not been able to put down for the past month. I'm almost completely out of it. The First Aid Beauty Weightless Mineral Sunscreen SPF 30. This one, oh my gosh, is amazing. It was featured in my favorite sunscreens of all time video. And there's two main reasons why this one is awesome. First, it's very lightweight and it has a matte finish. So if you are someone who struggles with oily or greasy skin, I highly recommend you checking this one out because it really does minimize that heavy glow that sometimes comes from a lot of sunscreens. But second, it has a color tint to it, which I really like because it helps to compensate for my super pale face, but it also makes it suitable for darker skin tones. This one's also approved by an awesome YouTuber called Aisha Harun. She actually made a great video talking about different sunscreens that are friendly for women of color that was really in-depth and covered a bunch of chemical and physical sunscreens. And she specifically likes this sunscreen as well. All the products that I'm going to be talking about in this video are listed in the description box below. If you do want to support me and my channel, I would really appreciate if you use those links as I make a small commission off of some of them, but no pressure whatsoever. They're just there to make it easier for you. This mineral sunscreen is by Purito. It is their Comfy Water Sunblock SPF 50. It is primarily formulated with zinc oxide, but it's SPF 50 and usually mineral sunscreens that are SPF 50 that are mineral only they definitely leave a very, very, very intense white cast. But this one's so nice because it absorbs into the skin really quickly. And even though technically it does have a white cast because of those mineral ingredients, it's actually very light. And once adequately rubbed into the skin, pretty much becomes invisible. This one has also been approved by an awesome YouTuber called The Style and Beauty Doctor. She does great videos where she tests the sunscreens on camera to give you guys a first impression and see how bad the white cast is or if there's any white cast whatsoever. And upon using this, she did see a little bit at first, but once working it into the skin, she noticed that it went away and she actually really enjoyed the experience of this one. The Biosance Squalane SPF 30 sunscreen. I'd say out of all the sunscreens, this one leaves behind the most white cast. Now I fell in love with this sunscreen because I found that the white cast really was not severe. The only downside is that you really do have to work it into your skin. But when you work it into the skin and I tested it out on my roommates who both have very dark skin, there was no white cast. And this one's also great because it's basically like a moisturizer and a sunscreen in one. Because of the squalane that it's formulated with, it's really gonna hydrate your skin and it does give a little bit of a glow similar to a moisturizer so it's a great two-in-one product. Now this one is approved by Aisha as well. She did say you have to work it into the skin but that it does give a good amount of protection. However I will say if you are a really dark skin tone this may not be the best option for you as I would more recommend it for lighter dark skin tones. And then next we have a totally different type of sunscreen, Korean sunscreens. Now I've talked about this a lot on my channel but Korea is really innovative in terms of their skincare technology and what their country allows and specifically in regards to sunscreen they are just miles light years ahead of where we are in the USA. And they've developed some really amazing sunscreen ingredients that have significantly less of a risk of irritation on the skin and also don't have any data showing that they could negatively impact the environment. And if I'm gonna be honest, if you are black or a person of color, I honestly just recommend skipping over mineral sunscreens altogether and just going for Korean sunscreens. Because when you start using a Korean sunscreen, the experience is like nothing you've ever had. These specific ones that I'm gonna recommend just melt into your skin instantly. No white cast, incredible so so good. First up is my favorite sunscreen of all time, the Purito Unscented Centella SPF 50. This one is awesome because it literally is just like a moisturizer. It's a moisturizer. There's no white cast. It absorbs into the skin. It has an ingredient called Centella Asiatica, which is one of my favorite ingredients of all time because it's great for soothing redness and sensitivity and just an awesome ingredient for the health of the skin. It's hydrating but not sticky. It absorbs quickly. Zero white cast whatsoever. Fragrance free. It's just Awesome, awesome. This one is so good. And this one is approved by a YouTuber called Melly Mel the Muse. She is an adorable skincare YouTuber that I love and honestly think needs more support. She has such a positive energy when she makes videos about skincare and she has in the past focused on sunscreens and which ones work best. She made a video on this one, said it was incredible. The only downside is that if you have really oily skin, this may not be the best one for you. Something that I agree with. While this formula is great, it does kind of feel like a moisturizing cream. So during the summer with my oily skin, I can't use this one, but the rest of the year, it is my go-to. Next up is the Crave Beauty Beat the Shield SPF 50. Crave Beauty is one of my favorite skincare brands and this, like other Korean sunscreens, has no white cast whatsoever. I think the ingredient list is incredible and it offers a high amount of protection. The only thing I don't like about it is that I would say this is more meant for people with dry skin because it leaves a very intense glow. But if you like that glow, this one's for you. This one was also recommended by another black YouTuber called Asia Jackson. You guys probably know who she is. She's a pretty big YouTuber in her video about sunscreens. And this was also recommended by a smaller YouTuber that I recently just discovered. His name is Ramon or Glow by Ramon on YouTube. He's 
he's not black, but he is a person of color. He's Puerto Rican and does a lot of videos about sunscreen testing. And he really likes this one as well. His videos are so high quality and original. I highly recommend checking him out. And then finally, the Dear Claire's Soft UV Airy Essence, which honestly, these two, it is so difficult for me to decide which one I like more because when I'm using this one, I'm like, oh, it's the best. But then when I'm using this one, I'm like, oh, this is obviously the best. So it's so difficult, but this one is incredible, especially if you have oily skin. If you have oily skin, this is going to be your hero product. It has the highest level of protection, but it's a lightweight gel texture that absorbs instantly into the skin. And this is one of those sunscreens that I can put as much as I want on my face when I'm oily and it will not feel heavy ever. Whenever I go to the beach with my friends, which none of my friends are white, they're all people of color. And whenever I bring this, they're always like, Hiram, can you let me use that sunscreen? It's like the best one. And that's because it has no white cast whatsoever. And especially when you're on the go, it's so nice because it absorbs so quickly. You can slap that shit on without having to worry about a white cast. The only downside to this one is that it does have a fragrant essential oil, but I personally justify it because that's how good the formula is. It's so hard to find another formula like this one and it's just worth it to me. And to top it off, Ramon recommended this one as well. And those are all my recommendations. I hope this helped you out. I hope you guys were able to see not only my opinions, but also get the feedback of other black creators and what their opinion on these sunscreens are. Like I said before, please go to the description box below to find them and go support them because they're all amazing and definitely deserve more support. I hope that at least one of these recommendations will suit your skin. And I also hope that we can keep the conversation going about inclusivity within the skincare industry, how we can get more representation within marketing, advertising campaigns, which stay tuned. I am currently working on a video about that, but also so that we can keep this entire movement going. Thank you guys so much for watching. Feel free to share this video because don't forget all the ad money from this video will be going to charity. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so that you can see my videos every single week. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Mwah.